Hello, I am Dr. Sarabji Singh, working as infertility specialist in Bensops Hospital, Rich IVF. Now, this information is for those males who have just come to know that there is no enough sperms in their semen to produce a child. Or rather, I would say that uh, those men who have been told that they have absolutely no sperm in their ejaculated sample. And the medical terminology that we use for these kind of patients is azospermic patient or azospermia. Now what I would like to emphasize here is that azospermia means that there is no sperm in the semen but that does not necessarily mean that there is absolutely no sperm in his body or in his testes. There are various techniques that can be applied on these patients where there are chances that we can recover the sperms. The techniques like PISA where we recover the sperm from the epididymis. Then there is a uh, technique called TISA where we try to extract the sperms from the testes and these all are actually uh, through the needles that we do. Even if we are not recovering the sperms through needles, we can even progress to the highest stage that is these and uh, the latest one that is called microtis where we try to cut open the uh, testes and try to recover the sperms from the seminiferous tubules. Now obviously that depends upon the pathology and, uh, and doctor generally comes to know after examination of the testes whether he will be able to recover the sperms through the testes or not. But yes, there are chances that sperms can be retrieved in almost 30 to 40 percent of the cases on an average if testes have failed to produce the sperms. And if it's a case of obstructive vasospermia where there is obstruction somewhere and the patient is not able to deliver out the sperms, then chances of retrieving the uh, retrieving the sperms from these patients is almost close to 80 to 90 percent. So what I want to uh, tell you all is that if any of your patients or even if you have been diagnosed with azospermia or there is no sperm in your semen, please consult your doctor and before opting for a donor program where you try to go for, uh, try to take sperm from some other way, please examine yourself, get few investigations done and ask the doctor whether the sperms can be extracted from your testes or not. And uh, obviously, if sperms can be extracted from your uh, testes, the procedure actually that uh, will be done is IVF only. So, my best of luck to all azospermic patients. Thank you.